Praise the Lord. You may be seated at God's house today. I wrote this down this morning. I just thought I might share it with you and may bless someone in here. Today, a pastor was just preaching. I just thought about how great God is. You know, and some people, they like to make serving God be like something that's bad. <laughs> I thought we were the ones that were lost. The people who are saved are the ones that rejoicing. A lot of people act when you get saved, all of a sudden everything happens. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what, can you imagine being going through the circumstance you are without Jesus? But we have the hand of Jesus to hold through every single circumstance. Don't ever envy a sinner. The Bible says the way of a transgressor is hard. The Bible says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus has rest for the weary. Amen. It's a joy to serve Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I don't have to want for anything else. He supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory. I don't have to go to anybody else for peace. I don't have to go to anybody else for rest. I don't have to go to anybody else for anything I need. All I need is in Jesus. So I wrote this down this morning. He's got more grace than I have sinned. He's got more mercy than I have transgressions. He's got more strength than I have weakness. He's got more healing than I have sickness. He's got more peace than I have trouble. He's got more power than I have problems. He's got more answers than I have doubts. He's got more joy than I have sorrow. He's got more deliverance than I have bondage. He's got more rest than I have tension. He's got more goodness than I have wickedness. Got more love than I have hatred. Can I tell you, I serve a God who's more than enough. And everything the enemy wants to bring into my life, God is able to restore me and to give unto me everything that I need in my life. I want to stand boldly and say, it's a joy to serve Jesus. It's a joy to serve Jesus. It's a joy to serve Jesus. I'm not sad when they said to me. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And anybody who's down, you can make it because Jesus is able. If you're going through something that's difficult, it's okay. Jesus has overcome the world and he's able to handle everything that you have. And can I tell you, it's the best life you'll ever live in serving Jesus. There are benefits in serving Jesus. You go to work for some company, and they'll give you benefits. They'll give you a pension. They'll give you a 401K. They'll give you certain times off. And if that's what a business will do, can you imagine what the heavenly king of kings will do to your life when you become a saved, blood-bought, forgiven, set free? Can I tell you, we're the ones that were lost, but now we're found in Jesus. We've been rescued. We've been saved. We've been blood-bought. When he died on Calvary, that was more than enough that he needed to do for our lives. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to just restore unto you the joy of your salvation. The joy of your salvation. You did thank God that you were saved at one time. Don't stop now. You did thank God for that job you have, and now you stop. You need to start back and start thanking God for that job that he gave you. At one time, you did thank God for bringing you to Community Family Church. You wanted to stay saying, God, thank you again. Thank you. He's blessed you abundantly. It's time you look back in your rearview mirror and see how far God has taken you. Don't forget the things that he has done in your life. We ought to give God glory every day because he's a mighty God. Mm. Hallelujah. You have to excuse me just a minute. I'm not done praising him. He's just too good for me to stop with the music. I got to keep on praising him because the Bible says to praise him according to his excellent greatness. That means to praise him in proportion to how worthy he is. If he's done a little bit for me, that means I'll give him a little bit of praise. That means if he's done a medium amount for me, I'll give him a medium amount of praise. But I believe there's some people here tonight just like me that'll say if it had not been for the Lord who was by my side, where would I be? Where would my children be? Uh, 
Where will my parents be? Where will my church be? Where will my friends be? Where would I be without the Lord? If I'm to praise him according to his excellent greatness, I need to let my mouth begin to worship the Lord. Praise God without ceasing. I will bless the Lord at all times. At all times. Good times. Bad times. Happy times. Sad times. In the doctor's office. No matter where I go, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will boast in the Lord. He's too good for me to sit back and let a rock say, I love you, Jesus. He's too good to me. I can't sit back and watch the rocks just begin to tremble because I won't praise him. But the Bible says, if you don't praise the Lord, the rocks will begin to cry out and give me praise. I want to know, is there anybody that's ever seen God move in your life? You just want to, don't want to praise him one time. You don't want to praise him two times. You don't just want to praise him three times. Or you just don't want to praise him just on Sundays. But you want to jump in and say, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises will continually be in my mouth. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sultry and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything, let everything, I say let everything, let everything, let everything. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. No man will give glory for what only you can do, Jesus. You're the author and the finisher of my faith. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tents of the ungodly. It's a joy to serve Jesus. I love him. He heard my cry and pitied every groan. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. I said serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with sing. Know ye that the Lord is God. Hallelujah. It's he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people. The sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. I said be thankful. Be thankful. I say it over here. Be thankful. Be thankful. I dare you just to lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. I said for the Lord is good. 
His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endures to all generations. My children will receive His truth. My grandchildren will receive His truth. Hallelujah.